So now we're going to explain to you how indirect questions work in Greek. And it, it's easy, okay? The basic rule is that they're the same. You have the same syntactic rules as you have for indirect statements. Come on, move over, Belisi. Indirect statements that are introduced with hati or host. Remember, they're like question, they're like quotation marks and and functional like quotation marks in English. So it really is a lot like them. In other words, you can just keep things the way they were in the original form. If you say, uh, uh, how do you feel today? Uh, that's that's a direct question. If you say, um, I ask you, I'm asking you how you feel today, and quoting your own question, that's an indirect question, okay? Mm -hmm. An embedded question. And in Greek, you can just keep everything the same as the original. Or if it's a past tense, I asked you, Okay, how are you feeling today? Mm -hmm. Then you have the option, and not the necessity, of changing the, the indicative verb, and how are you feeling today, into an optative whose aspect corresponds to the aspect of the original. So how are you feeling today is going to be imperfective aspects. You're going to use the regular so-called present optative. If, if, uh, if, I, if the question was, I, I asked you how you felt yesterday, mm -hmm. then that would be, um, aorist, then you're going to use the aorist optative. So we'll look at an example of, uh, of how these things work, of what the options are. Um, you've got a, a direct question, tis a, who are you, is what that means, tis being the, the direct interrogative and indefinite um, adjective, but here it's an interrogative, you can tell because it's got an acute accent and it's the first word in the sentence, and A being the second person singular of the verb to be. So, who are you? Question mark. If you would then embed this question in a sentence with, it looks like a rough breathing on erota. It's a smooth one. Mm. Okay, sure sorry. Right. All right, erotao is the verb to ask somebody something in Greek. Um, erotao, so it's a contract, an alpha contract verb uh, in the imperfective aspect. So erota means he or she is asking. And then we change the the direct interrogative tis to hostis, although you can actually keep it there. And so this means he or she asks or is asking who you are. Okay, so this is the indirect interrogative hostis. Um, you, in other words, you're keeping the verb the same, a. If it's a past tense, you can do that again. You can say erotesen, that would be the aorist, third person singular of erotao. He or she asked who you are, okay, keeping the verb a in the indicative. Um, if you, But you also have the option in that case of changing the verb to an optative whose aspect is the same as the original direct question. So the direct question verb was a, so it's going to be present optative. That's present indicative. It's going to be present optative. Erotesen, he or she asked who you are. Okay, not who you would be, but who you are. Okay, <laughs> just a, a, a conventional change that's optional in Greek. All right, so uh, we didn't give you an example of an aorist, but the rules uh, uh, in, in, a, in a question, but uh, you just if the original verb of the question is an aorist, uh, who told you that, then you're going to put, you have the option of putting the verb in a past tense in embedded question. He asked who told you that, or she asked who told you that. And then you could put told in the aorist optative. Okay? Mm -hmm. Hope it's clear.